Okay, we're cruising right along. Hopefully you've watched videos one and video two, and here comes video three. Um, so once again, I'm drawing something. I don't care if it's to scale, angle A. I just want to label things. Um, little b is across from, this one is 23. Little c is over here, 28. Notice this is side, angle, side. Okay, so here we have side, angle, side. So whenever anytime I see side, angle, side, what I'm going to look for first um, I can't do a law of sine. Sine of A over, we don't know A, equals sine of we don't know over 23. Um, that was too many I don't knows. Um, those are my air quotes, so sorry. Okay, so, um, so what I want to do is I want to use the law of cosine instead in this one. And so I'm looking to find this side link. So um, I typically just have the, one, the equation memorized. Um, c squared equals a squared plus b squared minus 2ab cosine c. But in this case, the angle that I have is not angle c, it's angle a. So a squared equals b squared plus c squared minus 2bc cosine a. The, the thing about this is that these, these letters match, and the other letters show up in the, in the, in the middle of the equation. OK, so I'm going to plug this in. I don't know a squared. I do know that b squared is this is 23 squared plus 28 squared minus 2 times 23 times 28 times cosine of 78. So I'm going to grab my calculator, which I've been using um, doing video after video after video. Have fun. OK, so this is 23 squared plus 28 squared minus 2 times 23 times 28 times cosine of 78. Now the thing that I'm afraid that, um, sometimes kids forget to do is they forget to take the square root, because notice we just solved for a squared. Um, but think about it, does that make sense to have a triangle with sides 23, 28, and 1,000? It does not. OK, so we'll take the square root of that answer. And so our third side, our a value, is approximately uh, 32.3. That, that's going to round up to 3, 0. OK, so little a is about. 32.330 centimeters. OK, so then the next thing I need to do is I need to find another angle. Um, and I can do that with the law of sine. So we'll say uh, sine of 78 over 32.330. And actually, at this point, I'm going to show you how to store. I talked about that in video two. But I'm going to take that previous answer and store that as, what was it? That was little a. Um, I'm using big A because that's what my calculator has. So I have sine of, I stored that, that side length as A. So it's sine of A over A is equal to, well, let's find um, sine, sine of B. Sine of B over 23. Okay, so now what I need to do is it's 23 times all of this. 23 sine of 78 all over, well, I could type this number in, but I stored it so that it remembers that, that whole decimal. It doesn't approximate it at all. Here's this value, but I don't, I didn't, they didn't ask me to solve for this. Um, that's solving for sine of b, so I need to do second sine of my answer. And so I find that my angle b is about 44.1 degrees. Okay, and now I could do the same idea using C, or I could just remember that this is a triangle, and all triangles have to add up to 180. Oh, so 180 minus, I had 78 is one angle, and the other one I just found was this 44.1. I could use the exact value, but it's going to round the same. Um, and so notice that gives me 57.9 degrees. Okay, keep watching for video four.